to my YouTube channel, Yusana Goldie R.L. Marquez. This is Integral Calculus or Calculus 2, Basic Integration, Section 1.3, Logarithmic Formula for Integration. In this video presentation, I will be discussing indefinite integrals that can be handled by logarithmic formula for integration. In the previous videos, I discussed the first basic integration formula. This time, I will be talking about the second basic integration formula, that is, logarithmic formula for integration or integration leading to logarithmic function. Let u be a differentiable function of x, then the integral of d over u equals ln of the absolute value of u plus c, where u is not equal to 0. The following are the other options for the integral of d over u. If u is less than 0, then the integral of d over u is equal to ln of negative u plus c sub 1. If u is greater than 0, then the integral of d over u is equal to ln of u plus c sub 2. If u is not equal to 0, then the integral of d over u is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus c. In the integral d over u, d over u is in quotient form u is the denominator which is a function other than a constant and du is the differential of the denominator u if all of these things are satisfied then the integral of d over u is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus c where u is not equal to zero example 1.3.1 evaluate the integral of dx over x minus 5 Solution. Given the integral of dx over x minus 5, we take x minus 5 as our u, which is the denominator. Let's check if the numerator is its differential. Taking the differential of u, that is equal to dx, which is the numerator. Hence, the integral of dx over x minus 5 takes the form of integral of du over u. Therefore, its integral is equal to ln of the absolute value of x minus 5 plus c. Example 1.3.2 Evaluate the integral of 3x squared dx over 7 minus 2x cubed. Solution 1 Given the integral of 3x squared dx over 7 minus 2x cubed, Let's take 7 minus 2x cubed as our u, which is the denominator. Its differential is given by negative 6x squared dx, but the numerator of the integral is not equal to differential of u. If we're going to multiply this 3x squared dx by negative 2, then it will become the differential of the denominator. So let's multiply by negative 2, but we have to balance it outside by negative 1 half. So this is now equal to negative 1 half times the integral of negative 6x squared dx over 7 minus 2x cubed. So the numerator now is the du and the denominator is the u. So we can now apply the integral of du over u, which is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus c. So that integral now is equal to negative one half times ln of the absolute value of seven minus two x cubed plus c, where seven minus two x cubed is our u. Solution number two. Let us apply this time simple u substitution. Given the integral of three x squared dx over seven minus two x cubed, we're going to express this in terms of u. So the denominator 7 minus 2x cubed is our u. du is equal to negative 6x squared dx. So solving for 3x squared dx, that is equal to negative du over 2. So expressing the given integral in terms of u, we have integral of 
the numerator is negative d over 2, and the denominator is u. Moving the negative 1 half out of the integral sign, we get negative 1 half integral of d over u. And this is equal to negative 1 half ln of absolute value of u plus c. But u is equal to 7 minus 2x cubed. Hence, we have negative 1 half ln of absolute value of 7 minus 2x cubed plus c. Example 1.3.3 Evaluate the integral of 4y cubed plus y quantity dy all over 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9. Solution 1 Given the integral of 4y cubed plus y quantity dy all over 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9. Taking the denominator as the u, which is equal to 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9, its differential is 16y to the 3rd plus 4y quantity dy. Checking the numerator, so it's not exactly the differential u. So let's factor out 4 from this 16y cubed plus 4y quantity dy, getting 4 multiplied to the sum of 4y cubed plus y quantity dy. So the numerator, which is supposed to be the differential, has a missing factor 4. So let's multiply that by 4 so that it will become its differential, so meaning the differential of the denominator. So But we have to balance it outside by one fourth. So the numerator now is the differential of u and the denominator is the u. So this integral now takes the form of integral of du over u. So hence, we have one fourth ln of 4y to the fourth plus 2y squared plus 9 plus c. Absolute value here is not needed anymore because the differential, I mean the numerator which is u, is never negative. It is always positive for any real value of y. Solution number two. Let us apply simple u substitution. Given the integral of 4y cubed plus y quantity dy all over 4y to the fourth plus 2y squared plus 9, our u is 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9, which is the denominator. Its differential is equal to 16y cubed plus 4y quantity dy. Our goal is to express the given integral in terms of u. So solving for du over 4, so that is dividing the differential of u, which is equal to 16y cubed plus 4y quantity dy by 4, its side, so we get d, d over 4 equals 4y cubed plus y quantity dy. So the numerator is now replaced by d over 4, the denominator by u. So getting one fourth integral of d over, four, over u. So, but u is always greater than 0 for any real number of y. So this integral is equal to one fourth ln of u plus c where u is, mm, does not have any more absolute value symbols. So, but u is equal to 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9. So we have 1 fourth ln of 4y to the 4th plus 2y squared plus 9 plus c. Again, no need for the absolute value here in the after the ln because u is always positive for any real mm, value of y. Example 1.3.4 Evaluate the integral of dx over e square root of 3x plus 1 multiplied to the sum of e square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9. Solution 1 So let's bring the e square root of 3x plus 1 in the numerator. So getting dx over e square root of 3x plus 1 and the denominator is square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9. Taking the denominator as the u, we have u equals square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9. So its differential is equal to, so the derivative of this radical is 3 over 2 square root of 3x plus 1 times dx. 
because the derivative of 9 is 0. So again, du is equal to 3dx over 2 is square root of 3x plus 1. So for the numerator of the given integral to be d over u, so we are going to multiply the numerator by 3 halves. So balancing it outside by its reciprocal, which is 2 thirds, so we now have the numerator as the differential of the denominator. And the denominator is our u. So we can now apply integral of d over u, which is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus c. But since u is never negative, since square root of 3x plus 1 is always greater than or equal to 0, so plus 9 here, so u is always positive. So absolute value in ln actually is not any more important. So all we have to do is to have ln of u plus c. So times 2 thirds, so 2 thirds ln of u, but u is square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9, so plus c. Solution number 2. Let's apply some simple u substitution. Given the integral of dx over square root of 3x plus 1 multiplied to the sum of square root of 3x plus 1 and 9. So our goal is to express this in terms of u. So we take u equals square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9. Its differential is equal to the derivative of this radical plus the derivative of 9. But the derivative of 9 is 0. So we have for the radical 3, which is the derivative of the radicand over 2 is square root of this radicand. So solving for dx over square root of 3x plus 1, we get 2du over 3. So dx over square root of 3x plus 1, that is 2du 2 D, 2 over 3, and square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9, that is u. Moving the 2 thirds outside the integral, we get 2 thirds integral of du over u. So that is equal to 2 thirds ln of u plus c, since u is never negative or 0. It is always greater than 0. So getting 2 thirds ln of is square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9, because u is square root of 3x plus 1 plus 9, then plus c. Example 1.3.5. Evaluate the integral of cotangent 2 theta d theta over ln of sine 2 theta. Solution 1. So given the integral of cotangent 2 theta d theta over ln of sine 2 theta, so our u here is ln of sine 2 theta, so differential of u is equal to the derivative of ln is the derivative of its argument that is 2 cosine 2 theta over its argument sine 2 theta multiplied by d theta. So, but cosine 2 theta over sine 2 theta is cotangent 2 theta, hence du is equal to 2 cotangent 2 theta d theta. So, for the numerator to be differential of u, we need a constant factor 2. So let's multiply that by 2 and then multiply the outside the integral by 1 half. So this numerator now is du and the denominator is u. So we can apply integral of du over u. So getting 1 half ln of the absolute value of u, but u is ln of sine 2 theta, then plus c. Solution number two, given the integral of cotangent 2 theta d theta all over ln of sine 2 theta, so applying simple u substitution, our goal is to express the given integral in terms of u. So the denominator ln sine 2 theta, let's take that as our u. du is 2 cosine 2 theta d theta over sine 2 theta. Let's check if mm, the numerator is its differential. So this du can be expressed in terms of cotangent times 2 d theta. So 2 cotangent 2 theta d theta. So, but the numerator in the given integral is not 2 cotangent 2 theta d theta. So there is a missing constant factor 2. 
So let's solve for d u over 2, which is equal to cotangent 2 theta d theta. So the numerator now is d over 2, and the denominator is u, getting 1 half integral of d over u. And that is equal to 1 half of ln of absolute value of u plus c. So it's e but u is equal to ln of sine 2 theta. Therefore, we have 1 half ln of the absolute value of ln of sine 2 theta plus c. Example 1.3.6. Evaluate the integral of e to the cos secant 5w multiplied to cos secant 5w cotangent 5w dw all over cos e to the cos secant 5w minus 5. Solution. So given the integral of e to the cos secant 5w multiplied to cos secant 5w cotangent 5w dw all over e to the cos secant 5w minus 5. So let's try taking the denominators the u. Check if the numerator is the du. So we have for the differential of u, we get derivative of the first term is negative 5 e to the cos secant 5w times cos secant 5w cotangent 5w. Derivative of negative 5 is 0. Multiplied by dw to be differential of u. But the numerator is not exactly this du. So we need to multiply it by the missing constant factor negative 5. So, and then balance it outside by negative 1 fifth. So we get now the numerator is the du and the denominator is the u. So we can now apply integral of du over u which is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus c. So getting negative 1 fifth ln of absolute value of e to the cos secant 5w minus 5 plus c. Example 1.3.7 Evaluate the integral of x dx over 1 plus x to the fourth multiplied to 4 plus cotangent inverse of x squared. Solution So let's put the 1 plus x to the fourth in the numerator giving x dx over 1 plus x to the fourth and in the denominator 4 plus cotangent inverse of x squared. Let's take the denominator as our u, which is 4 plus cotangent inverse of x squared. So du now is equal to, for the derivative of 4, 0, derivative of the second term is negative, derivative of x squared is 2x over 1 plus the square of x squared, which is x to the fourth, multiplied by dx to be du. So the numerator is not exactly this differential of u, there is a missing constant factor negative 2. So let's multiply the numerator by negative 2, balance outside by negative 1 half. So the numerator now is du and the denominator is u. So we can apply integral of d over u. So getting negative 1 half ln of the absolute value of 4 plus cotangent inverse of x squared, which is our u. So plus c. So that's the give the integral of the given problem. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Yusano Goldi R L Marquez. I'll be having part two of this mm, logarithmic formula for integration. So watch out for this. Bye.